Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Sage 2023 Showcase. This time we have Cyber Pigeon. This is, as it describes itself, an electrifying experience in Cyber Pigeon, a dual stick shooter set within a dynamic battle arena. Take control of Cyber Pigeon, the ultimate cybernetic avian warrior, as you engage in intense battles against swarming drones and formidable bosses. Adapt to the ever changing environment, collect power ups and weapons, and rise to the top of the leaderboard in this thrill thrilling aerial showdown. Uh, this basically looks like a twin stick shooter that is kind of arcadey. It didn't look super complex, but I was just like, why is there a pigeon, though? So I figured I'd take a look and find out. <laughs> That's really about the extent of me picking this game out. Because <laughs> uh, it seems a little random, but I'm kind of curious if there's something to it, and there's a little thematicness to it, so let's find out. Uh, of course, it, yeah, it says, it says in the description here that it's a score attack based game, so not super complicated, but let's see what we got here. Uh, of course, before we begin, excuse me, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, think about coming over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner over here, but we need more viewers to do it. So if you want to come by, whether it's the lurker or to talk, think about doing so. It does help out. It really does. And we'd honestly love to have new viewers. It's always nice to talk to new people. So come on by if you haven't. We also have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I got a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. And I have a merch store if you want to buy some cool stuff. Links in the description. Check them out at your leisure. With that being said, though, let's go ahead and start this up. Sammy, you've also yet to... You, oh, yeah, the hot water. That'll do it. Sorry to hear that. I hope you didn't burn yourself. Okay, well, we got full screen mode. Well, I'll just turn that on, I guess. Music and BG blur. Okay, yeah. Okay. Now learning how to hold a controller in this uh, wrist cast I'm in now. Let's see. It's a little it's a little harder to hold the controller, but it's not too bad. Stray Sky, survive. Yeah, that was the vibe I was getting. Wait, do I... Do I oh my god, what is, wait, hold on. Am I on a... I, question one, am I... Oh, okay, wait, hold on. How do I move? Can I move? I feel like I should be able to move. I, I can shoot, certainly. I am leaving. Wait, hold on. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Alright, no, um... Wait, wait, I wanna go back. Uh... Pretty sure I'm missing something here. I can most certainly sh wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Gamepad, left stick to move. Right stick to aim, right trigger to fire. Uh, yeah, no, though. That's not true, though. Also, I can't leave this. Okay, there we go. Left stick doesn't move me whatsoever. Sometimes I move. I think I'm just reacting to getting hit, though. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't work, actually. Um, well, there is mouse controls, <laughs> mouse and keyboard controls, so. Okay, that that's that's okay. So your game, so it doesn't work with an Xbox uh, One controller. I'll say that much. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Why are some of the platforms randomly disappearing? What's this do? It lets me go through it. All right, it's like a web, I guess. What are the enemies even fucking doing? Some of them are attack me. Others are just like fly around. <laughs> like okay, this is very random. Also, might, might I note, this is the most pathetic gun sound. It's like... Like the most underpowered sounding weapon. Did I die, by the way? Because I lost all my like health bar and then now it's like back to full and I don't know why. Ow. Okay, now I died. Uh... Hmm. Are you using X input gamepad? Yeah. Yep, I, I should be. This feels... Let's read the... I'm gonna read more of the overview now, actually. 
Uh, fill collectibles, coins. Collect these to purchase new items in the shop, though, which will occasionally open during the run. Okay, so if you live long enough, you, there is a shop. Fledgling, every hundred coins you collect, a uh, fledgling egg will appear at the top of the screen. Collect them for extra points. Okay. I just don't know how you're supposed to survive this when the enemies just literally, like, come out of nowhere and hit me. <laughs> like... Uh, there's a lot of shop collectibles, apparently. Like, a lot, a lot. This feels really... like... Ha you know what it feels like? It feels like this should be way more zoomed out. I should be able to see most of the arena, and thus be able to see the enemies flying at my face. That's what this feels like it should be. Because, like, I feel like it's too zoomed in for how the enemies work. If the enemies are just gonna fly at me randomly, I need to see them coming. Like, look at that! Look at that! Look how they literally fly at me, like, in Mac box speed. How am I supposed to react to that? I don't know if their contact damage actually hurts me, but still, them flying at me and then immediately shooting is unpleasant, to say the least. I guess my best bet would be to, like, hide behind an object so they can't fly at me, I suppose. What's, uh, you know, what's hilarious is that I beat level one on the run where I couldn't move. <laughs> like, I don't know how I even did that. Oh, what's this? There's, uh, something you got over here. Oh, it's a sh- oh, okay, the sh- It's, uh, you know, it's Cyber Mouse! Friend of Cyber Pigeon. He, he also sells you items, that's nice. Hello. Oh, okay. He also- he's also always up for a friendly spar. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, I'm out of weapons somehow. Thanks, I think I, I think I got all those items for free. Bye. <laughs> wait. Oh, it's dead. What? Wait, wait. Okay, my weapon is really weak, but I also insta-killed the boss with it. Okay. <laughs> I like how matter of fact the boss the, the, the shopkeeper's like, well I guess I'll I guess I'll murder him now. Like <laughs> there wasn't like really a reaction. It was just like, yeah, I guess well he, 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 he stole lives from my sh uh, like he started shooting me a bunch. I guess I'll shoot back. I wonder if I could have defeated him. He seemed to have kind of a shield. So I'm not entirely sure. But with how hard this game is, I will rob the. It, you know, honestly, in, in most games, it's hard to rob the shop. That was pretty easy to rob the shop, though. Like, yeah, I got attacked, but it was pretty easy to rob the shop. Let's. Wait, what are the coins even doing? Why are they just forming a random trail? Okay. Alright. <laughs> what are these bosses? Oh, a boss! Okay, give me like three seconds. All right, I deal with it. And like, <laughs> okay. Egg. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh wait, I'm fine. I healed somehow. I don't. I don't even know how. <laughs> At this point, I'm just not even sure what's going on. I legitimately do not know. Egg. Maybe the egg heals me, I don't know. So I wonder if the shop's gonna come back or not. Oh, that's a block that gives you money! Okay. Hello. I'm sure a lot of guys you have there. It'd be a shame if I ignored them and just murdered you. Yeah, that's a... Oh god, they're still around! <laughs> I thought they would disappear if I did that. Yeah, um, oh, those are spikes. I guess I should be careful. So if I touch the little block here or the little coins, I can get more coins. Uh, that's nice. I guess. Okay, I'm going to die again. Oh, no, I'm fine again. I'm gonna die again. Wait, egg. Fine again. Yeah, the egg kills you, okay? <laughs> I don't even know when I'm gonna die. <laughs> I do know that I'm supposed to avoid the spikes. This is like, can can anybody tell me what's going on in this game? Because all I'm doing is like trying not to die. I'm just trying to move a lot, and that's about it. <laughs> my 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 strategy is uh uh get away, uh shit, get away, shit. 
<laughs> I have little birds now. I have little extra birds. I don't know. Did they help me? Are they shooting too? I don't even know. This is the most what is going on game I've played in a while. This is a game where I could probably play this for like 30 minutes and I'd still not even be sure what I'm doing the whole time. I'm noticing the shop has not reintroduced itself, so I assume the shopkeeper got mad at me and is not inviting me back. I'm not entirely sure though, because again, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I think I prefer the middle. The outside has a lot of enemies. Okay, I don't even know why I'm healing sometimes. Like, that was a good full heal I got out of nowhere. I think the eggs are healing me, but something else is too, and I don't even know what it is. You're back to your pea shooter. Well, that part I understood. I had an ammo count on the whatever weapon I got I stole from the shop. So that part made sense, at least. Wow, this is sure. If you and hit for a while, you heal. That could explain it, actually. It, it, it kind of make a sound kind of like a Halo Regenerating Shield, so... I think I gotta brave the outside here, hold on. Yeah, I think you might be right. Also, sometimes I hit a block and it blows up, but I don't even know why, because normally they act as walls, but sometimes the wall blocks do not act as a wall and they blow up. <laughs> I don't know why! Again, I do not know what's happening in this game. This is the most- this is a game that could be studied for hours and be like, okay, why the hell is this happening? Like, let's- let's do a- in, in let's just do a- like a two-hour YouTube video on why this game works the way it does. It will still be lacking comprehension even then, but you know. And that time I just healed in the middle of taking damage, so I don't even know, man. I don't even know, I healed in the middle of taking damage. Which is a good time to heal, but also it makes even less sense now. Okay, screw it, I'm gonna go over here. There we go. Only enemies got stuck outside, and I was just like, well, I gotta go out there now. At least there was a cyber mouse that made the game a bit better. But yeah, this feels like. I oh, know it's weird, I was like struggling at first, and now it's like I'm fine, but I bet I could die any second as well. It feels like in just any second I can just get in a really bad situation. And just the run run-ins. So I think the best strategy is kind of doing lazy circles and attacking what attacks me. That seems to be the best strategy. I, I, and sometimes, like, I unleash a bomb, but I'm, like, not doing that. Like, it just kind of happens automatically, and I don't really even know why. So I think to advance rounds, I actually need to kill the big guys or something. Like, maybe it's, it has something to do with a shop power up I picked up. I had to, I, I kind of just grabbed them really fast, because... Well, I didn't get to read the descriptions because the, the shopkeeper was shooting at me, so, you know. Okay. Oh god, it's hello. Oh, see, I'm about to die again. But I'm fine now. I guess. Stop that! Oh my god. How, ma how many enemies must die to end a wave? I don't even know. Nothing is clear in this game. Absolutely nothing. At that time, I think I did heal by just not taking damage for a second. I don't even know, man. This game makes zero sense to me. 
Except for the fact that each wave seems to take exponentially more enemies to advance to the next wave, which is kind of lame. It kind of feels like it's like a real algorithmic scale, like, oh, first level's 10, second level's 30, third level's 70, fourth level's 200. It just kind of feels like a tile's increasing. Also, the, all this, this boss is is enemy spam, so I can't kill it. Very cute design. This is really just boring, <laughs> like, when you get down to it. Okay, so I guess I'll just hang it in the corner. Oh god, bad idea. I mean, the boss's movements are absolutely unpredictable, so it doesn't really matter what I do. <sighs> I kinda hate this. Please die. Now I see where the boss has a little health, because some of them are jerks. Actually, this guy seems to have more health, because of course he does. This is not- okay, thank you, holy fuck. <laughs> this is not good design. Trying to break that block. Oh, I died. I honestly, I'm glad. <laughs> I saved two fudge lanes. okay, good. I- I just don't know, man. Let's see. I'm gonna read more of the overview. Stray Skies is a tentative name for this arena. The arena's walls will collapse or regenerate each level upgrade. Enemies and boss spells will progressively become more challenging. You can even see new types of enemies appear at later levels. So, I mean, yeah, I did see that. Max's shop! Okay, so the mouse is Max. The shop will open occasionally throughout the run. If You'll see an icon plus an arrow point towards it. The shop is located off screen to the right and center. You'll see three random items that you don't have in your possession available for purchase. Each item box is 10 HP. You destroy to collect the items, assuming you have enough coins for it. Oh, that's how you're supposed to- I thought it was how you robbed the shop, okay. Otherwise, your attacks will just bounce off. Also, please don't upset Max. I don't want to tell you what happens if you do. I like how the first thing I thought to do was, I'm gonna upset Max. So this is apparently a very limited campaign tech demo. A very incomplete level from the game so far. Um, so yeah, it's uh... I guess it's unfinished. <laughs> But this is... This is... Why are there even animals? Why is there Cyber Pigeon? Why is Max the Mouse a thing? They're, like, this... It feels like a generic twin-stick shooter. Right? Wave-based score attack twin-stick shooter. With some random animals tacked on to give it identity? But they forgot to add the identity part. So it's just random animals with no for no reason. Right? We got a pigeon, we got bur little fledglings, we got eggs, but it's like, why? Why do we? This is the example of a game that attempts to add elements that the developer probably thinks is interesting, but without any real point. You know? Like, it's just slapped on there, effectively. You could- Cyber Pigeon could be Cyber Ocelot, it could be Cyber Wolverine, it could be Cyber- you know, Indonesian short-haired cat. It doesn't really matter, right? It could be anything, <laughs> and it would still fit, because the, it doesn't matter, right? Obviously, this is like an early version or whatever, but like, what is the vision here? I, I cannot tell. Cyber nematode. Cyber uh, tardigrade. I don't know. <laughs> My point is, though, like, it's just, it's random theming. The random theming made me interested to check this game out. Like, I was like, okay, why, why pigeon, though? Why cyber pigeon? Game failed to answer that question, <laughs> so I don't really know. I don't know. This is just a generic twin six shooter that suckered me in because it had the word Cyber Pigeon. Eh. <laughs> I don't- like, I- even if this gets more fleshed out, it just felt really random and impactless. Like, the gun pew-pews were not impressive, hitting enemies was not impressive, getting hit was not impressive. It was just very boring for- as simple as it was, you think they would do its simple mechanics really well, but it just felt really underpowered, boring random, unclear. <sighs> this is truly a waste of my time, unfortunately. At least in this current state. But that was Cyber Pigeon. I, I just wouldn't recommend playing this. Go play something else. Any other twin-stick shooter is probably more interesting than this one. 